Hello, this is chapter four, assignment, problem 14. This is a somewhat difficult problem, primarily because of the way it's worded. I'm gonna ask you to pause the video right now and read the problem yourself so that I don't spend time reading it to you. I've entered the correct answers, as you can see, but the most important thing is that you understand how to arrive at these answers. So pause the video now and read the problem. So what I've done now is simply shifted to my document camera so that I can walk you through the calculations that I did in order to solve this problem. Now you may have a different approach and a different thought process, and that's okay as long as it gets you to the correct answer. So I started out with the 37,000, I'm sorry, 31,000 admissions. 4% of those had treatment caused injury. So the number of treatment caused injuries out of the 31,000 is 1,240, simply multiplying the 0 0.04 times the 31,000. And we said one seventh of those resulted in death. So one over seven, 0.143, I may or may not use that, but I'm just working through the information they gave. They also said that the number of treatment caused injuries that were due to negligence was one fourth, 4.25 times the number of treatment caused injuries. So 310 of them were due to negligence. So the first question they ask is, the probability that the admission will suffer a treatment caused injury due to negligence. I actually calculated that using the, the values, three, 310 over 31,000, or 0 0.01, which is the answer to part A. The next question they ask is, What's the probability that a person admitted will die, or a person with a treatment caused injury will die? And they gave us the one third, I'm sorry, the one seventh times the 1240. That results in 177.142 deaths. Dividing that by the 31,000 gives me 0 0.006 to three decimal places. Part C is a little tricky. Part C is very tricky. They want to know, I, I didn't copy down the whole problem, but they basically want to know, of those treatment caused injuries due to neglect, which we found to be 0 0.01, What's the probability that a malpractice claim that's filed as a result of that neglect injury will pay out? So it's the probability of the treatment caused injury due to neglect times the probability of a malpractice claim being filed, which in this case is one over the 7.5 or 0.13333 times the probability that the claim will pay out, which is 0.5, half the claims pay out. Multiplying all three of those together, 0 0.0067. And you have to enter in the 0 0.0067. There's an alternative way to get to this number by calculating the number of cases each in each one of these events and that gets you to 21 cases that pay out out of that 31,000 admissions but if you multi if you divide 21 by the 31,000 you'll get 0 0.00068 to five decimal places 
And if you enter that in, it'll be marked wrong. It's one of the problems with the Cengage automatic grading. Even if you're off by one decimal place in this fifth position, it'll be marked wrong. The only way you can get to, the, to this answer, which they'll mark correct, is by multiplying these three numbers.